right around the corner from my home in Herndon, Virginia, is a little place called Jimmy's Old Town Tavern. What's different about Jimmy's? Let's go inside and find out. Hi, I'm Jimmy from Arcade. Yes. I came here to make some friends. Have you been a bartender for a long time? 35 years. Wow. Have you been a server before, Jimmy? I've been doing catering for 30 years, worked for the government. I'm semi-retired. So, so you love this. You do this for pleasure. That makes me happy. They say it's, you know, where everyone knows your name, everyone's treated like a regular. It's not a gimmick. That really is how the bar is. Roy? Yes, dear. What's different about Jimmy's than any other bar? Different about Jimmy's, don't let him know this, but... He's probably the best bar owner I've ever worked for. Definitely, without a doubt. He knows how to throw a party, and he's the best promoter in the bar business I've ever seen. And this coming from a Redskins fan, huh? Yes. <laughs> do, you guys get, like, do you guys get severely rich during Bills games? <laughs> At least you did it. We like to go, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire. <laughs> Bills fans are, are awesome. Yeah. Yes. They are. <laughs> For our Goucher documentary. I'm from Arcade, New York, and I live in Manassas Park, Virginia. Can you follow along now? Yes. I am from West Seneca, New York, and I live in La Plata, Maryland. Hey! Uh, love Canal, New York, and then uh, went to the one for the Love Canal. <laughs> Stay away from this guy. <laughs> All right, where are we going? We're going over here. Buffalo, New York, and I live in Buffalo, New York. Oh yeah, oh yeah. A couple of years ago, and because the Buffalo Bills beat the Redskins here, somebody took my hood ornament off my car because I had a Buffalo Bills frame on my license plate. <laughs> it's good that you have a sense of humor nice. about it. Yeah. <laughs> kind of took it pretty hard. Yeah, yeah. It's just the game people, come on now, yeah. right? Reggie. Yes. I'm Short for regular. Okay. Got it. Reggie. <laughs> oh, Reggie. Oh, yeah. Reggie. That's Reggie, 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 Reggie. Reggie A, B, C. I can say I would never work in any other restaurant, though. I love this place. It's amazing. Because? Everybody here is so close, like a family. I mean, we fight, we laugh, we cry. Um, but it's great. I mean, and the atmosphere. I mean, I just love it here. It's what makes Jimmy a unique boss? I mean, I have my guesses, but what makes Jimmy the type oh, of boss man. that everybody should have? Oh, I don't know. I mean, he, he really does care, I would say. It's not an easy business. There's reasons that we're open, not just not just because the staff rocks, but the community has made this their, their watering hole. Uh, Herndon has embraced us. It's, they want to keep it going. If people in the community don't want that bar to stay open, they don't go in. They just don't go in. So they've decided, yes, we want it to work. And I have a saying where I hang a big frying pan on the wall in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And I tell the staff and the customers, if I ever start getting out of line, go in there and get that frying pan and hit me over the head with it. Because this is your all's bar, not mine. So you got to keep they it gotta what take you pride want in to it. be. The only problem I have is Dallas Cowboy fans. <laughs> All right, this is what we do. We build two big whipped cream pies. You know, it all started with Jimmy, bet me a beer, bet me a beer, bet me five bucks, bet me 20 bucks. You wear my jersey, I'll wear your jersey. You wear a dress. No, none of that, man. Put your face in front of hundreds of people on YouTube, the world. That's how we do it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.
There you have it. You were at Jimmy's Tavern in 2011 when the Bills were four and one, baby. First place. I think we're out of towels.